Democrats have emerged about how the presidential candidate of Labour Party for the 2023 election, Mr. Peter Obi, escaped death after his campaign team was attacked in Castina State. Obi's team that has been on a state-to-state -to -state tour touched down in Castina on Monday, January 24, 2023, winning voters and promising to tackle insecurity if elected into office during the February 25th election. However, it was not an incident-free tour as a statement issued by the Obi Darcy Presidential Campaign Council disclosed that Obi's convoy was attacked twice in Castina, describing the attack on Obi and his campaign team as condemnable. The statement signed by Diron Nifade, head of media of the Obi Darcy Presidential Campaign Council, said our candidate had met with women in a town hall and then held a hugely successful rally at the Muhammad Diko Stadium. However, on his way to the airport, hoodlums attacked the car our candidate was riding in with heavy stones from his driver's side, causing substantial damage to his vehicle. To the glory of God, Mr. Obi and other occupants of the car were on hot. Subsequently, another set of thugs also threw stones outside the stadium, which damaged several vehicles, including that of our official stage crew, the statement said. According to the Obi Dati media team, the two incidents taken together make the team to suspect that the attacks may have been premeditated at the behest of desperate politicians who had been deluding themselves with the false claim that they had the Northwest in their pockets, but are now shocked by the show of force of the obedience movement in the region. While commending the people of Castina who came out in mass to support their campaign on Monday, he urged security agencies to investigate the attack to forestall future occurrences. From Lagos, this is Peace Umabuko. News Express Nigerian Television.